While we're talking about ranges, we also want to look at the range method resize. So here I'm just going to give you a quick demo and then I'll show you how we actually uh, can put this to use. So I've just created a sub here called resize um, and I want to specify my starting range. So I'll start with A2. And then resize is just a way to resize it from a single range to, to a larger uh, range or a group of ranges. So I can resize and then I resize by the row that I want to resize and the column I want to resize. Now the thing about resize is the counting is inclusive. So you count the row where you're starting and I'll show you here in just a second. So if I want to increase it by two rows and three columns, it looks like this. So I'm starting with A2 and then I'm resizing by two rows. So remember when you offset, the counting is with the next row, but with resize, you start where you are. So here's one row, two rows, and then three columns, one, two, three. So if I wanted to select all of my data, I could select six rows and five columns and it selects all my data. It's another way of doing it without using the end property. So just a different way to go about doing the same thing. With the end property, it was flexible. So if I need to make this flexible, I'll have to do some row and column counting. So if I plan to count the number of columns and rows, I need variables to hold those numbers. So I create an end calls, and it's my total column count, and an end rows or number of rows, uh, and it's my total row count. Then to populate those variables, uh, I start in A1 because it's known, it's always there. And remember current region take, goes until there's a blank row or a blank column. So if I'm missing an individual piece of data, uh, the end uh, method could cause problems because it will stop just above that. But current region will go until there's a complete blank row or a complete blank column. So current region is a pretty good way to do it. And then columns count or rows count. Now, if I'm selecting this entire region, uh, it's going to include the title row. So if I want to know the number of data, a minus one. And then if I wanted to test this, I could debug. I could set a watch as one way to do it. Uh, or I can debug.print. And I'm counting five columns, one, two, three, four, five, and six rows of data. So now that I have my counts, I can use those in my resize. I know that my data is going to start at A2 and then I want to resize the number of rows because it's first rows, then columns, and then the number of columns. So again, it's rows, comma, columns. And now let's see if this selects all my data. And it does. And it will select all of my data even if there are blanks. 